Hey, oh. all right, what's going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this has been a little crazy. We had to rebuild our stream completely up, so I'm hoping things work. I've added a few new things here and there, so I hope you guys know them, <laughs> noticed them. Uh, other than that, it's uh, been a crazy week. So, yeah, I'm glad y'all like the tunes, man. Uh, it's all a uh, little chill on the country drive today. We got some cows in the pot. Going to take them down to Idaho, coming out of Washington. So, anyway, what's up, guys? Hope y'all are doing well. Uh, <clears throat> let's throw some uh, shout-outs here to all of our... Um, let's actually, hang on. Let me make sure. Okay, that is right. <laughs> I was going to make sure that my... Uh, the microphone is right. What coming out of a face cam or something. So, anyway, it's good to see Freightliner Fan Wonders. Zell, good to see you guys. Monthly 75. The Boom 08 in here as always. What's up, man? Island Crawler 22 as well. Ace, good to see Ace of Spades in here. C Paint as well. Mark Patrick D. Mr. Sweet, always good to see him in here. He's actually uh, in Sweden. Uh, Alan Crawler, Z Bullet, good to see you guys. Thank you all for coming in. Ron uh, Slattery, thank you there for the $5 super chat to get us started off, man. Thanks for loving the videos. Thanks for the uh, support there as well. And uh, who was that? Uh, yeah, Alan Crawler, I got him. All right, let's make sure. Lucky 13 Scots fan, good to see you guys. Alex Brandon, someone psycho, uh, as always, man. Good to see you all. Thank you all for coming in as well. AK, what's up? Yusef, how are you, Miss Live? Jared, what's going on, buddy? Uh, Papa Rocks, Classic XL, two grand. What's up, man? JB's 92. It's some good tunes, man. What's up? How are you? Uh, Ethanol Trump, what's up, man? Pod truck spotting. Pennsylvania truck spotting. <laughs> Not paw. Paw truck spotting. Just a rado. How are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. What's up, Rich? Good to see you as well. Air Boss in. What's up, man? You're here for the heifers. <laughs> Well, that's a good thing you weren't here for the steers. <laughs> All right, what's up, goat? What's up, Thundercat? Hello, Tony Speaks. How are you, man? Diesel Twin. What's up? Yeah, it's all right, man. I just I just shrugged my shoulders, man. I'm like, yeah, okay. Well, if you believe it's that, then, you know, okay, who am I to stop you? <laughs> it's all right, man. I don't, I don't get mad at comments anymore. I just, you know, say what I need to and then roll on with it. It's all good. No hard feelings, as really it is with anything. <laughs> well, Jackson, I think everybody's about been there, man. So <laughs> I hope you're doing, hope you're getting better, man. You and I, so, well, you know, at least you got some uh, some good tunes and some uh, hopefully a good stream. Maybe got some ATS. You can, uh, can kick it for a bit, man. What's up, Cecil? Good to see you, man. Bear, hello. John Brickner, what's up, man? How are you? Jacob as well. <clears throat> what's up, Lamont? How are you, man? Three seven, you make this. Uh, can you make this our tow truck? No, not no, 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 not no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Corn pop, what's up, man? Yes, sir. LEP, what's up, man? Jose. Hmm. After he orders you one, Freightliner, ask him if he'll go ahead and pick me up a second one. I want to do twin sticks. He can pick me up one up, too. Good, Jackson. Good, good, man. Bend, what's up? <laughs> I almost get me on that name every time because I like to do first and last names. But not with you. Got to keep to it, man. <laughs> All right, let's roll this intro here. Now we got some good tunes. We got a good truck. We got good trailers. Uh, we do have some free stuff. We do have some pay stuff. But we also have some discount stuff. We got some other stuff that's going on. So anyway, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after these fine messages that only last like six seconds. I'll get a longer intro one day. Then we'll flicker in a little ad or something. Oh, and I've got a really cool announcement to tell y'all. So if you're looking for Valentine's Day gifts, don't get one yet. I've got a really cool opportunity and something cool. You guys may like. You may not. It's fine. But I'm going to tell you about it here in just a minute. All right, we'll just go back to this screen for just a minute here. Um, okay, all right, so truck trailer. So we've got the Merit uh, trailers, the cattle pot trailer. This is a double-decker. This is a huge cattle pot trailer. It's not a, necessarily a skinny one, but it is huge. 
Um, and I actually like this one. Um, I, it, it's a, it's old school. Like it's old school trailer. Like if you download it, it works for one for three. Just like get past some of the like the the kind of the meh. <laughs> it's like not all completely there. Hey, yeah, look at all of our new stuff works. Woo! All right. So color coded uh, super chance there at the top of the screen there. Papa Rocks man twenty starting off the night right. Thank you there, buddy. Appreciate that. And also new event list there on the top. Keep track of our top three, whether it's subs, members. Super chatters, whatever. Uh, so, yes. All right, good. I'm so glad that that stuff works. All right. Um, it is not like the SES trailer. SES trailer is like a very skinny high-rise. <laughs> you know? It's like, itty bitty, and then it's like, Phew. this one's like as wide as the truck. Like, I mean, like, wide, wide. And then it's got a little bit extra height on it. It's really, I, I mean, I, li I personally, I like it. I don't feel that it's so out of proportion that it's just like, dumb looking you know um so that was pretty cool uh and thank you there pop appreciate that man um and then so uh so when we got dimes 379 so i've redone this a little bit featuring the stand-up sleeper which is the beta sleeper on this we've got her stretched out it is not raked and it is got a very decent sized tires on this so y'all can get mad at the dinner plates we don't have dinner plates on today um and then we've also got that um featured up uh with uh yes yeah, so we got dom 379 we got Bree did the interior a little bit on it so this is a little bit different build than uh than what we normally have done but i've got the new headlights on this new bumper all the new parts and pieces on this thing so if you've kind of been driving the free one you're still kind of on the fence as whether or not this 370 is going to be one that you're going to like versus not like uh, i can tell you updates have already started for the next version of this which is super excited I've been talking to dom a lot uh and uh, he's a pretty cool guy to talk to especially about the truck stuff so um, so anyway, we've kind of been, you know, flipping some things back and forth. So already got stuff set up on the next one. Got some new skin pack stuff is going to be redesigned and kind of repackaged, which is going to be awesome. So um, that's uh, that's exciting to see. And I started working on our own uh, skins here for the company and all that other good stuff. We'll start working on that as well. Uh, so that's uh, that's sweet. Oh, sorry. So a free trailer. We got a truck. Don't forget, if you are looking to grab this truck and you're like, man, I just don't want to pay 80 for it. I've got a code that will give you 20% off of that. So it'll cut a bunch of that off. Uh, well, I say a bunch. I mean, it cuts a it cuts a sizable amount of that off. It brings it down to like 65 or so. Uh, then you add some tax on. But it's better than paying, you know, the 85 or 90. You think that's too much for it? It's fine. Not a big deal. I don't hear to talk about the price of them because I don't set the prices for any of this stuff. And uh, thank you there, Robert. Appreciate that, man. Thank you there for the two. Is that the two? Aussies, thank you, man. Appreciate that, Robert M. 1989. You just wanted to see your name in blue, man. <laughs> it's a good deal, man. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Um, and so, uh, uh, so you know, we got that uh, here today. So make sure if you want to go, make sure you use the code. Get yourself, save yourself some money, especially if you want to do this. If you're asking does this comparative to the Blue Line 379, I don't have the Blue Line 379. Uh, personally, I thought, you know, just going off the, the, I don't know what updates and I don't know the future development of 379. I'm not in that community in that circle. So I have no idea. So I can't really speak to which one is better. Um, I just hope by at least saying this, if you can see the other 379s that are out there, then you guys can make your decisions based off what you do. I'm not going to tell you that this one's better than that one. Cause in your, in your opinion, it may not, there's trucks that people absolutely love that I can't stand. That's just their opinion. That's what they like. So in a preference-driven world of ATS and ATS mods and all the like, I'm just going to show you what the truck is, and then you can decide whether or not you want to like it, whether or not you want to pay for it. But if you do decide, make sure you use the code and all that good stuff. Okay, now the last thing that I'm going to throw up here, and then we're going to get riding. We're in Washington. We're going to be heading down to Idaho. What's up, Jake? Good to see you, brother. So we've also got a very – I've got my first uh, – let's see. Uh, it's not a sponsorship, but it's uh, my first uh, – it is. It's my first affiliation sponsorship on a brand that um, that I'm kind of excited about. So Exter is a, a European company, um, and they stumbled across a few of my Euro Truck Sim videos and just thought that might be, because I, of course, have a large following of men out there um, and some kids that use their mom's accounts, you know, facaded as women. But anyway, uh, still mostly all men in my channel, and um, so they thought this might be a good partnership to try. And I was pretty stoked about it and excited about it. So... Um, if you're looking, I've got um, some things coming up and some new codes and some other big flash sales that's going to be happening extra. They are basically kind of this new age, kind of modern uh, wallet slash. They've got all these kind of stuff for men. So they've got, you know, your card carriers. They've got wallets. They've got all the readers and the trackers and stuff for wallets. They've got all kinds of like funky, flashy, kind of cool stuff. 
Um, and it's pretty cool. So anyway, I'm going to have codes and I'm going to have affiliate links and all that. So if you're thinking about something for, uh, for um, you know, Valentine's Day or something the wife can get you, um, I'm going to actually have a few things in hand that I'll be able to show you and be able to kind of demonstrate what they are because I haven't got my hands on them yet. So I'm super excited. But I wanted to let you know because I knew it's kind of getting them close to Valentine's Day. And I knew y'all didn't want to, uh, you know, if you wanted to maybe look at them, go check them out extra, wait on the codes and all that stuff because you will get quite a bit off from what they are retail. So anyway, just kind of putting that out there. Just want you guys to know that's coming up. I'm super kind of stoked about that. So anyway, all right, y'all ready to go? <clears throat> all right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, the last part of our puzzle is going to be the sounds. Uh, we've been featuring a lot of Slav Jerry. He's been doing a lot of work. He's been busy, uh, and he has been updating a lot here into 143 sound architecture and structure through the FMOD uh, sound. I won't say plug-in, but it's the FMOD uh, you know, architecture here in ATS. So we're going to be featuring his newest one, 3408. You know, Z's got a new 3408. It's not out yet. have no idea. I do not have that one yet in hand. So this is not Z Mods, but it is Slav Jerry's. It is free. So you can go on and grab this and download out of the SES forums. Link are in the description. Trucks in the description. Trailers in the description. So, yeah, if anybody says, hey, uh, we need, we need, I need a link there, buddy. Let's go check it out in the description. Go grab it, and we'll see. And we've also got a pedal cam. Look at this. Yes, sir. We'll see how this does, man. So, anyway, uh, you get your updates, uh, Pennsylvania Truck Spotting. You will get that update via, um, you will get that update via email. To make sure that when you bought it, um, actually, no, Pinga's, Pinga's got it. So, hang on a minute. So, now that you've got Pinga's stuff, he's got a store with an account. So, you can go download that anytime, but you'll still get an email letting you know that it has been updated, that you can go download it. All right. That cool? Did we get everything? I think we got everything. Kevin McCurry, thank you there for the uh, resub there for five months, buddy. Appreciate that, Kevin. All right. Let's see what we got here. <sighs> I feel like it's been a while, man. I feel like it has been a uh, – uh, uh, it's been a while. Been a little bit. We um, – I don't say we had a catastrophic failure, but um, I've been working on this screen thing. Uh, I've been working on the stream trying to get it a little bit better, trying to – um, get frame rates and, and refresh rates and stuff synced up, especially when I was running triples. I was kind of screwing myself over in a lot of different ways, but um, I think still some of that is limitation of the of the resolution and a few other things. But uh, we've rebuilt the stream and uh, decided to go ahead and add in a foot, uh, uh, add that in. So we'll see. Thank you there, Ben Frank. Appreciate it, man. So for you guys that don't have the Peterbilt logo on the front, there is a mod on the Steam, just like Ruda's, uh, that gives you that particular mod for the Peterbilt. So it's an extra one that just like Ruda does for his. All right. <laughs> Here, boss. <laughs> well, I don't know about no tap dancing, but uh, yeah. Like some people kind of wonder sometimes too if I really float the gears. So I figured, you know what? Well, that this right here will be one surefire way to uh, to nullify that, right? What's up, Jordan? How are you, man? <laughs> What's up, Yvonne? How are buddy? Yeah, foot cam. Look to look to the top. Look to the top right over here, man. <laughs> Bring back the knee. Well, you've got half a knee cam. I just need to put on some shorts, right? <laughs> oh, yes, Mathis. I'm in advanced gear. Yeah. I'm in, I'm using everything but the gear synchro. I am not I am not doing gear synchro. That's just if if I'm driving by myself, then fine. But if I'm not, and I'm you know doing the whole you know, if I'm doing the whole uh, driving by myself, that's one thing. If I'm not, then, yeah, it's, it's too much to do that, plus chat, plus try to, you know, drive halfway straight. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fish. 
My red shoes, well, uh, they're race shoes. They're, they're my race shoes. And it's gracious. Yeah, I tell you, Streamlabs, uh, Streamlabs, everything OBS, ever since they've moved these last uh, two Windows updates, um, my recordings are a lot better. My stream, we'll see how things are on the jumpiness side, but um, it's definitely taken a big hit since this last Windows update. Something in OBS they're working on. Uh, digging through the forums. I've gotten a lot better performance out of my PC, I will tell you that. I mean, this thing's running like a cucumber now. Uh, it, is, uh, it, is, it is really doing well. Stream, though, syncing the things up, man, it's still, it's still having issues. So um, trying my best to uh, see if I can, you know, correct some of these things. Just give you all a better uh, viewing uh, presence out there. But what's up, Gamer Bro? How are you, man? Who are man for the Super Bowl? I really don't care, Ryan. I don't like either team. I mean, I typically just go pull for the underdogs. I don't. I don't have a real favorite team, and um, I don't really have a favorite team in there. So you know, it's kind of like it is what it is. This is thirty-four oh eight Lone Racer. This thirty is. I'll crack some windows to young kind of. Y'all can kind of hear it here with the. Uh, Hey, thank you there, Located. Thanks there for the uh, membership there for seven months, buddy. Appreciate it, man. What's up, Bad Company? How are you, man? Oh, Steel Biscuit, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's hard once you get down. I mean, it's a good it's a good balance of both. Uh, no, this mod is not a map mod. Uh, so this is Washington and Idaho. We just have not been in here so long. Uh, that you guys may have uh, forgotten what it looks like. <laughs> like, no lie. <laughs> and for you ask, this engine does not have a Jake brake because it never had one. The old 3408 air, the old 3408 air starts, most of them are kind of like the AB92. Uh, they did not have a Jake brake. So. Oh, we're gonna get in a race with the cement mixer. Here we go. We're good. Yeah, the air start. Yeah, I mean, I get past the air start. You know, that's one of those things, man. I, I, I don't know. I would have liked a, a Jake brake on this, but I mean, if the real truck didn't come with one, you know, it's like, it's, it's fine. It is a nice beefy sound, so even when you're downshifting, it still sounds good. It doesn't sound empty. Oh, the root advisor. Oh, in the middle. Yes, yeah, the one from uh, Self Steam Workshop. It's uh, the one from SISL or SISL. Uh, I can't remember exactly what this uh, this little thing is called, but there you go, the route advisor, yeah, from Sissel, that's it. <laughs> you big Raider fan? <laughs> well, I'm in North Carolina. I would say I'm a big Panthers fan, but I'm really not. Yeah, I'm really not, so... Uh, who is it that does this one? This is Slob Jerry. He's the one that has uh, Jerry the Mouse from the cartoons as his uh, avatar. From the Tom and Jerry series. Uh, they can be automatic if you want them to, Ryan. 
I mean, not everyone has a shifter, so yes, you can. anybody can do it. What's up, David? How are you, buddy? Good to see you as always, my friend. Hope you're doing well, man. Yes, that's right, Freightliner. Key hook, what's up, my friend? Yes, yes, Colton Clayton. Yes, sir. What's up, JM? Had to pick out the old lady. Make sure you put an apostrophe and not a D. That'll get sent you to the doghouse real quick. Get me in there sleeping with Spot. All on a grammatical error. Be such a shame. <laughs> All right, so we're going over there. It is. Look at the Muhammad. He's already got it, man. So we got some brand new, uh, brand new emotes. Unfortunately, in YouTube, they do not like animated emotes, even though they are. So if you are a guy in green, I've got all brand new moats for you guys. So I hope you all like them. Just something colorful, some hypes, some sub hypes, and some other little knickknacks here and there, but a little bit better than what I had before, which was pretty pitiful. I just never knew if the ATS community was, you know, like a big emotes fans users, you know, like, hey, good game, FTG, that was great. Double G's, bro, double G's. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, man. Look at this. This thing. Let me see if I can get. Uh, yeah, I can probably, yeah, let me get. Yeah, look at this thing. See, it's tall, but it's not like. It's not dumb looking, you know. Like it's squared up. It's still wide. It's tall. It is a full double. So we're going to OMAC, by the way. If anybody wants to know, we're going to OMAC. <laughs> Peter Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> what are emotes? So emotes are all these. Uh, so if the guys in green want to throw some, yeah, Scott just threw some emotes down. So their emotes are little snapshots of emotions. That's what they call them, emotes. Some people call them emotes or emoticons. But, yeah. And I miss Washington, man. We got to get back in Washington and do some driving up here. I, and I actually drove through. We're going to drive through Idaho. And I, I really kind of, uh, I totally kind of, like, missed how good Idaho was. Idaho's really, really good. Like, it's really pretty. And I never really realized how much uh, really nice and pretty mountainous terrain there is in that either. Yeah, all these trucks in the 348 had what they called brake savers, which were kind of a form of Jake brake, but uh, yeah. Um, so I'm not running any graphics mods. It's all just regular SES. Um, I don't have anything special going. I don't have a reshade or anything else. It's just uh, 400% um, and uh, just running regular SES stock stuff. Um, 
As for stuff to recommend, JBX is good, although JBX is payware. Um, from what I know, I don't know, there were a few other ones, but the last time I checked, a lot of those things were, um, a lot of those things were not updated at a very regular pace. The only other graphics mod that I know of that people use is the realistic graphics mod on the Steam Workshop. Uh, but even that one still has performance issues, like I've always run a lot heavier uh, in the graphics, and they're a so-so improvement. Reshade is, is free, which you probably, if you Google realistic graphics mods or anything like that, you'll run across Reshade. It's interesting, it's complicated to kind of catch how to use the filters and use them properly. There are some presets and stuff out there that you can use uh, for ATS, but they're still a little bit different. I mean, they just, they just are. And I, I honestly, I never really put the time into it to uh, to want to learn how to really effectively um, do it. So I just was like, man. Hmm. Hey, Z-Bullet. Thank you there, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Truck carrying expensive watch is spilled on the highway. It cost him a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's uh that's that's pretty cheesy. But it's real pretty good. <laughs> oh man. Thank you there, Z. Appreciate it, man. So Jaden, the codes thing, if you're looking to buy the DOMS 379, use that code and it gets you a uh, twenty percent off, buddy. And without that code it'll cost you full full price. So call it an affiliate code, call it a I don't know, whatever. I'm just I'm just glad that Dom gave me the opportunity to to uh to be able to sponsor something like that on the stream so so if you look at it buying it use it now we'll say being stretched like this plus uh having a bigger longer trailer here <laughs> backups on this thing should be fairly interesting <laughs> probably should have gave myself a little more on that We'll see if we can actually make it. Nope, I'm gonna go ahead and pull forward. Also, by the way, while I'm giving out some announcements and talking about some random stuff, uh, you guys been asking for Farm Sim. That is gonna be making its way back here on the channel pretty soon. Uh, we've got some new things picked out, especially server stuff, and uh, we'll just get you guys a few episodes out there, uh, getting some things, uh, getting some things done on the server. So, yeah. Kind of didn't have time for all three. We're doing a little ETS and then trying to switch off the farm sim and then ATS and yeah. And then my, my stream and stuff, I deleted all of my stuff through OBS trying to reset it and uh, kind of screwed myself over there. So <laughs> I had to rebuild everything. I was like, well, that wasn't a smart move. <laughs> export, save. Why didn't you export and save? <laughs> all right. Whoa. He's got another one. I think you can use Stripe or something similar to that. I mean, essentially works through putting your credit card through. That's essentially what it works. It works the same. It's not a bad looking truck at night. Um, let's see. What time is it? Eleven oh eight. Let's. Um, I tell you what. Let's try to. Let's try to. Um, let's try to go. Uh, let's see. Um, Let's see. Let's try to go to uh oh no 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 G set time. Let's go to G set time oh five. There we go. What's a trucker's favorite part about the movies? The trailer. I have heard that one. I've heard that one, man. <laughs> I've heard that one. Thank you, Z Bullet. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Still pretty good though. I didn't know if I was starting the truck or if we were hopping in the NASCAR pit crew. But anyway, I digress. Here we are. Let's roll. All right, so you can see you got your, uh, got your heffles in there. All right, let's see. Let's go this way. I ain't going to make that turn. Not on this chassis. That bad boy's got a little weight. What are we carrying up in here? Eh, 43. 
black cows, actually they're black and white. Hi, <laughs> Z. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, this one had the uh, this one had the 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 wheels I could lift it up. The tag wheel I would have. <laughs> That's good new gamers. It's always good to hear people that like it if they made the purchase. You know, I mean, I I never know. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good and an anchor. I like it too. This one and the uh, projector lights are my favorites. And then he's got these new HID lights, which are pretty awesome too. I don't know why I'm looking like there's going to be traffic coming down this dirt road. I do not drive a big rig. Yeah, I don't drive one. Uh, I don't think Chaos work with any of John Rudas for reason of I think they're competitors and he doesn't want he doesn't he's custom coded all coded all his lights so I don't think any of the lights for Chaos work on John Rudas stuff they do on Dom's I do know that everywhere but the roof lights he's got his own roof lights they must be in a, like a custom location but everything else you can put Dom's all over this thing if you want to a nice little update too. If you don't know if you can see it, we got under the uh, under the cab lighting there. Very nice little uh, feature. You can actually set those up however you want to. It's pretty slick. It actually looks pretty good at night. But I say I thought I saw a truck coming down through there. Oh, did I get it stuck? Oh my gosh, I did. Goodness, ripped the ripped the wheels right out of it. I thought I had that one. Man. Uh, Barnes Trailer Bad Company, no, this is the Free Merits Cattle Pot, which is, uh, it's a, it's an older trailer. It doesn't have, it's not like anything that's like been developed like here recently new. It's, uh, it's fairly, fairly old. Uh, it was one done by Keith Davis, or at least uh, I think Habdorn did this one, and, um, and he wound up updating it through the ATS Mods and Updates uh, Facebook page. Uh, so he's done that to a lot of, uh, a lot of trucks that kind of had trailers back in the day but then have since you know kind of retired <laughs> um so he's got some uh, and it's good i mean for what it is you know it's free uh it's updated you know i mean not everyone's got money to pay on the payware stuff so you know I, I try to do my best to showcase some of these things um you know periodically just to you know if anything to show people like keith is doing good work man keeping up um keeping up free trailers there aren't a lot of them out there anymore I mean, there's nothing on the Steam Workshop. A few things here or there, uh, but they're kind of like specialty stuff. Like they're, um, I don't, I don't want to call them weird. They're not weird. They're just, they're just different. If you want a location, we are in OMAC. Uh, we're headed down to Spokane. Um, it might be these two. He's got two different ones, Scott. Um, I think I do have a field of view mirror model, maybe. I can't remember. I want to say maybe I do. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. 
Um, but these mirrors are the, kind of like the older classics. He's got another one that's a little bit further up on by the, the, by the filters. <laughs> I like that though. It's nice. I'm not a really a cattle pot fan. I can really care less. I mean, to me, it's another trailer. You know, but uh, sure does look good with that with that stand up sleeper though. I ain't gonna lie. Looks pretty beefy. Oh, nice there, Funky. Yeah, so um, so this take job, what you need to do is assign that to, uh, it essentially is like the enter button. So you just need to assign this to enter. So um, I, I don't know if it's activate, activate something or like activate uh, icon or, so if you're doing trailer jobs, if you're doing fuel, if you're doing any of that stuff, this basically becomes your inner key. Uh, is essentially what that is. And there may be a, a key on there that says enter. That, that's it. <laughs> take job. <laughs> so I do this one as basically my enter button. So I use it to fill up, to take jobs, to do anything that requires hitting the enter button in ATS. So uh, <laughs> have I ever thought of doing ATS multiplayer? <laughs> oh, uh, which one? Uh, because we have done, oops, we're going to miss our, no, we're not. Yes, we are going to miss our turn. I have no brakes. I do have brakes. They are just... Oh, snap. All right, we're going to have to turn around. Um, yes, yeah, so I've done um, 30s to 40s to 100 truck convoys. We used to do it every weekend. Um, I kind of stopped doing those because people stopped showing up for them and people stopped doing uh, ATS um, multiplayer TMP. Uh, as for convoys, we do do convoys. They are just really hard to do in ATS because of the performance once you get past two trucks. Um, if you're going to run any of the good mods, people are not going to come watch my stream if I'm sitting in the TE680. Uh, you know, classic trucks just running around with people. Uh, they want to see mods and want to see custom stuff. And unfortunately, in convoy mode, you really can't run but about any more than two of those uh, in a party. After that, it essentially doesn't really work. So it's just the performance is so bad on everyone's machine that um, we have not really done much on ATS yet. ATS, we have done some of those. So <laughs> Yeah, no, it went flying. It, it must have hit some type of a, there must be a load-in trigger or something right there because uh, it is by the car depot. This just hasn't been, I mean, it came out of the parking lot. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how it came into the parking lot. But it did. <laughs> Somewhere right back in here. It's like, uh, and there's nobody in it. It's just the truck. I'm like, what? That didn't make sense. So we'll just do what all safe drivers do. We'll cut through the gas station. Yeah, the mods, uh, the mods are tough. Um, you know, they're tough to get all the same versions to get everything, you know, running like it should. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's one of the challenges. Um, you got to kind of know what you're doing, and you would have had to have done it a few times, which is why I don't really do open convoys with everybody. 
Um, it's just too much by the time you start adding mods. It's just too much um, to add on. And, um, you know, the TMP is really good, but people have deleted it off their system. They don't even show up for them anymore. Uh, even the guys that write me messages almost weekly saying, hey, do this, I'll do them, and then they don't show up. So I kind of get tired of doing it for the few that say they want to do it um, and the other ones that don't care, they don't even drive TMP anymore. It's kind of sad. I mean, TMP has been through a lot. Um, you know, some of it's their own making, um, but, uh, you know, not having um, – and gosh, not having all those trucks and stuff on there, man, makes it kind of hard to get on there and drive. You know, at least with convoy mode, you can drive with traffic, even if it's just you and a buddy. You can at least get on there and drive with traffic, so. Yeah, I guess I could have gotten fuel. Mm. <laughs> This is SES. I'm sure I'll get to a fuel depot here pretty soon. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I know, Karma. I know. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Let's see what I can do here. <laughs> I feel so stupid doing this. Whoops, hang on. Oh, shoot. <sighs> there it was. I was trying to figure out the steering wheel. There we go. <laughs> Is that better? Well, fifth, so the, the same order thing is not necessarily a bad thing because here's the thing. The order doesn't, is not going to matter as long as you have the same local mods. So the main thing you have to do is get the local mods in order first. And then, <laughs> hey, Memphis. <laughs> yeah, I had some people didn't believe I was actually floating because they could see my left foot moving. I was like, oh, okay. So I had to rebuild the stream this week. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to add in one of my extra. I had like an extra face cam, uh, uh, face camera over there. I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw that down there because we're getting ready to do racing too. And uh, Daytona 500 is coming up here in a few weeks. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to set this up, see how this sucker looks. And uh, see if I need to add any more light or whatever. But uh, it'll look good with some red shoes down there. My racing shoes. It, it'll, be, it'll be legit. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Glad you caught that. Um, what was I talking about? I was, right, right, I was talking about something, about something right there. And I missed it. Oh, trailer, uh, all the links are in the description, guys. Sounds in the description. Trailer links in the description. Right to the mega folder. Uh, oh, yeah, combo modes, yeah. So basically, once you get your local mods in there, then then essentially it's going to tell you that you have you need to get the other ones, which are basically anything that's from Steam. Once you get your Steam mods, then um, it'll, it'll order and prioritize them via what the host has. So if that host is being able to, you know, to basically rock the stream and, I mean, rock the, uh, the room and he's doing fine, um, then you won't have any issue either. And it'll automatically load your order to match his. That's at least the one good thing that they've done. Um, but, um, but yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't stop. Uh, whew, we just fried our brakes on that one right there, boys. I'm gonna have to start using this retarder here. Oh my gosh. Whew. I didn't have that problem when we weren't loaded down. <laughs> I didn't check that. <laughs> oh, this is blocked by the hood. That's funny.
All right, Jordan, have a good man. <laughs> well. Uh, muffin the uh, actual application. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, same program, just for the ATS side. There's just nobody on ATS, so we kind of stopped doing them. Uh, people stopped showing up. People had deleted the program when Convoy Mode came out. So I think there's a lot of people, man, it's still in limbo. Like, they don't really like TMP, but they don't want to do the other. You know what I mean? All right, so I am. I am going to go left over here. I won't go fill up. Oh, yeah, I like the extended. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, I I do it either way, man. I always like the, uh, the lowered 6x4s on the ETS2 side anyway, so I, I get with both of them. <laughs> uh, the GPS mod is just the, uh, is the route advisory mod from SISL. It used to be Himmels. GPS in the cab, but it comes with the truck. It's essentially just a just an, op, an iPad. Make sure I ain't gonna scrape back here. Hey, what's up, Carl? How are you, man? Matt, what's going on? 2.45 prime time Saturday night. That's pretty much, that's pretty standard, ain't it? It's kind of sad. It really is. Oh, crap. I didn't even see that car. <laughs> well, we're going to drag her along the way. Sorry there, Granny. My bad. You snuck up there. A blind spot. I didn't see it, you know, right in front of the truck. <laughs> The Caribbean map? No, I did not. I, I've always stayed away from all that stuff because I never could, back, even back in the day, man, I never could get any of that to work. I could always just wind up start crashing my game and I'd get frustrated with it and be like, meh. <laughs> oh, my God. Just uh, seeing a chassis in the trailer, boys. So it's like a long. Hey, Alan, what's up, buddy? Matt Munson, what's up, man? Your boy, Trucker Gav, what's up, man? <laughs> uh, download the software car spot. Uh, go to Corsair, if that's what they bought. Go download their uh, IQ software for the keyboard and mouse. It's got the drivers, and it's also got the stuff that allows them to connect wirelessly to your computer. And they will have profiles for their lights and all of the other good jazz they come with. So,
Try that and see how you come along. What's up, Pedro Rodriguez? What's up, man? Have the Lambros caught well well, Gay Boss, I don't know the car hauler we have. I'm not sure I'm not sure honestly what the style is and whether or not it fits the fits the same bill. Um, from what I remember the car the car hauler is a little bit different. Uh, yeah, Alan, it is. Uh, Matt, we're going to. We're supposed to get it Friday is what they said. <laughs> For a free trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a little bit. There's also that logo on the front right there. You can also skin that. Uh, what maps do I use usually? Usually it's Great America, Team Reforma, uh, Montana Expansions in and out most of the time, uh, Pro Mods Canada. I think Pro Mods Canada and Great America are in there right now. Uh, but we're in, uh, we're in the... Uh, the eastern edge of Washington. So I can't rip the Jake because three o the thirty four oh eights at least these particular models didn't have one. They had basically a retarder, a brake saber, uh, but they did not actually come factory. Just like the AB ninety twos that uh, Z did, uh, they didn't actually come with those. So they elected to leave the Jake brake off this one. It still has the effect of, but you just don't have any sound to it. So. Yeah, fair point there. She still ain't slowing down. <laughs> oh, God. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious, man. Uh, oh, you hear these big old Ford just going down the road. Not perfect technical state. Be careful. Shut your pie hole there. Um, I have no idea, Gabe. I have no idea. I don't know much about Z's. He hasn't uh, given me any specs on that one. Um, so I have no idea what to tell you. My guess is if the version that he recorded didn't have one, he's usually pretty true to form. So um, if the real one didn't have one on and the, and the one he uh, recorded didn't, didn't have one also, he's not just going to make one up for it. He just won't do it. <laughs> Here's the hoping. <laughs> um, so you need to find out, Ben. I'm not sure if the T150 has an option to do this. I know some of the other ones do, um, where you can take the wheel off. You need to find out if there's a Thrustmaster mod that allows you to take your wheel off without destroying the electronics behind it. Um, I don't know on certain wheels, once they get down like towards the base end, if the wheels are made all one piece. And that you probably can't put an adapter on it. You would have to at least get up into the what's the 500 version? I think has the 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 quick disconnect wheels, the plastic wheels part. Um, you might have to get up to at least that part. But I know even like the G29, you could take it apart and basically take it apart, take the wheel out, and put it together, and then there was a way that the, the adapter would basically allow you to keep the electronics part behind it, which is kind of weird. But I mean, obviously. That's if you just have to have it. I mean, you know, I know obviously wheels don't have those on them, but um, 
you also have a lot more controls in the wheel that you don't have here in the game, so. Alan, no, this is the, uh, this is, whoops, well, this is the, uh, the Merit cattle pot. This is the, uh, freebie off the, uh, ATS mods and updates site. Oh, there you go, Alan. Thank you, man. Thanks for uh, digging it up. It's a good-looking trailer, I mean, for free. You know, I mean, it's a little, uh, I say crude, but in a very nice way. It's just very straight, very simple. You know, simple materials, simple reflection. There's not really a lot of complicated, you know, geometry in this trailer. Um, so, but I mean, you know, it's another it's another cattle trailer. I mean, I like pulling all all kinds of different stuff. I mean, I, I can I can deal with stuff, and, and and it's good too for me to be able to show you guys something besides payware. You know, I mean, let's just face it. All right, so I think we're turning under here. Or is it here? Yeah. Okay, that was weird. Big dub, what's up? Um, yeah, yeah, um, you know, most of the time, uh, most of the time I get it, the, I don't know exactly, OBS has got an issue ever since the last Windows update, there's a syncing problem, uh, recording is not the same, but the encoding through stream is different, and so, um, most of the time in this I'm getting anywhere from, um, 80, 70 in the cities to 110 to 100, now limited to 120, so I don't do more than 120 outside of it. But the stream's jumpy because of OBS, and I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. I reset everything. Um, I've actually done a lot better getting my my computer game uh, graphics are sinking in really nice. Um, but I just can't get the uh, I can't get OBS and uh, and this to uh, I can't get them to sync up very well. It's got this jitter jolt in it, and it's happened in this uh, two we uh, Windows updates ago. So. But I'm only running single monitor too, and it's still at 1080, so I'm still only accessing about 50% of the card. And that's uh, either because the card can't get it fast enough, uh, and I'm actually hurting my performance, or, uh, you know, ATS does not able to send it that fast. I'm not exactly sure. Slime enough, what's up, man? Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, girl. Yeah, so so the mod order, it, the, the engine just needs to be with all your other engine placements. That's all it needs to be. It just needs to be under, in, with all your extra Z mods and all the other engines, and then put your effects packs and stuff over the top of it. But it's just like any it's like anything else. Start your mega packs and work your single engines where this one would go or any other Z mods or anything you put in there and then put your effects in your road noise and weather and interior noise, put all that stuff on top. Ruta Ruta Cab? 
Oh, you mean the cab over the 389. I mean, that's a personal one for you, man. I mean, I, I, I tell you that 362 dude is pretty freaking nice. I mean, we got enough 389s. Here's the thing. If you've already bought 389s, I mean, Rudas is good, but it's another 389. If you don't have a cab over, you don't have a really good one. There's only two really good cab overs. That's KI's 352 and his 362. And both of them are fantastic. And John's fixing to do an update on 362. I don't know if y'all saw that. Uh, also, uh, want to know uh, if you guys want to see me stream the uh, or see a video on the Radiance for ETS2. Uh, yeah, back company. We'll do that. I have slime. It's in my it's in my short list. Guess that was good enough to bring the cat, bring the cows to the train yard. That's about it. All right. Her, <laughs> funny, funny, funny old timer. Yeah, I might have to actually. Well, I know what I did. Uh, I stretch these things up a little bit here to where I'd actually have to use them like a real trucker, you know, give you a little bit more realistic uh, braking and all the other ins and outs, but uh, I may have gone too far. <laughs> I may have gone too far. All right. Uh, not too much yet, Karma. We're still just um, we're still just uh, doing the testing right now, throwing some numbers up for for the guys over at Truckee. So um, I probably would uh, I would assume and think it's not going to be too long from now. Man, you got rid of the X's. I'd be too scared. I'd drive right through them. Hey, what's up, Trip? What's up, Spur? Good to see you guys. Yeah, uh, I overshot that one. Nice, Alan. Let me cut this in a little bit better. What do I think of VTCs on World of Trucks? Uh, I don't know about World of Trucks. I mean, we, we kind of got us a list for things if we start convoys and stuff back up on TMP. Just because it's kind of like a website for the truck. You can put pictures and... You know, all the, the information and stuff. Truckee's more of the economy and the um, more the economy and the miles tracker, which is pretty nice. Way more than you get off trucks books, but not psycho enough that it becomes a regular job, you know what I mean? Uh, no, his new one's not. I don't have any idea, Alan, when he's going to bring his out. Uh, Slav just released this one, so I figured we would go ahead and feature another freebie tonight because we um, I try to I try to try to do a little bit more of that. I don't feel like I do enough of that, you know. So I figured I'd do one more of that. And uh, uh, let's see, I'm gonna do um, let's see what I have. Super B Fontaine Maximizer Log Trailer Everest. You know what? I think I oh. Uh, did I put? I did put it in here. Let's do. I would do a little tanker action. I think uh wow uh not Wyoming. Um. What you call it? Um. Just I just went <laughs> straight blank. Idaho and Washington have um 
places you can drop off in the gas stations. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. What's up, Thunderwolf? Oh, you're never too late, my friend. Never too late. Oh, boy, custom light nodes. Well, that's we're not going to be doing that. I think mine's, is mine still in here? Oh, no, I didn't put my stuff in there. <laughs> well, guess we're riding custom commodities. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, not a dare, of Arizona. Venezia. Venezia. Is that, I mean, is that not Venice or is that something like a... I mean, that's Italian for Venice. Venezia. Maybe we could go truck for Ryan's. Fresh fruit juices, Ryan's. Let's see. Um, Opie's. Martine Milk Transport. There you go. I like that one, man. Sure, why not? Uh, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and throw, uh, let's throw a few. Yeah, I'll throw underpaint there. Mm, chrome, sure. Got milk. How about, yeah, there we go. How about that one? Gosh, we is, it has been a minute since we've been out this way. <laughs> been out here rocking barts, man. It has been a long time. I done forgot what this trailer looked like. I like it, though. Eh, we'll leave it chrome. Yeah, we'll fill the, uh, we'll change the color, too. Don't worry. It's like, oh, my God, he's not going to change it. It's going to look awful. Not polish. Where's my 22s? There they are. Mm -mm -mm. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's paint. Let's paint this, and then we'll leave the other part. Yeah, good enough for me. We're going to spend a ton of time on this. I don't want to have to go through here. and I don't want to have to go through here and paint all this crap. <laughs> so I guess we really do need to do this, so... Oh, man. <laughs> What's up, Carl? Give him a highway killer. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Um, can we set that up for tomorrow night? I'll drive the highway killer tomorrow night, Carl. Can we do that? You let me know. We can definitely make that happen. Yeah, I think the uh, C-16 is good for everybody, man. Uh, any good fuel tanker trailers? I don't think there's any tankers. Uh, there are a few freebies that are halfway decent. Um, eh, maybe. Yep, sounds good. All right, sweet, man. All right, so we're going to give away a, a highway killer tomorrow night, so y'all make sure that y'all are back here at this point of time. And uh, I thought we had boxes back here. I guess not. All right. Actually, that looks pretty terrible. I'm not going to lie. Let's just, let's, just go, let's just go black. You know, we'll never, we'll never come back. <laughs> All right. Spokane it is. Oh, yeah. The one from Tyrone's. You're right. You're right. Well, maybe maybe, um, maybe what we'll do tomorrow is we'll throw, uh, we'll throw a, a, a highway killer on there for Carl, and uh, we'll roll that tomorrow night, and then I'll uh, get Tyrone's up, and then we'll roll a fuel tanker. So how about that? That's what I thought. Sounds good to me. Yeah, Highway Killer's good. It, it, honestly, it's it's got to be my top. It, it's obviously my top five mods. I mean, I, I really do think, um, in some regards, I think you know, I think um, I think Dom, this update brings his truck, it brings it up a level uh, that it was not at before. Bart's got a couple of good ones as always. Um, you know that does goes without saying. 
Um, I, I mean, you know, so here's the thing. It depends located. Um, a lot of people don't like the food grade. They, they, want a, they wanted a fuel tanker, you know, a fuel truck. And, I, you know, for some people, man, I don't, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't want to say it's worth it. Uh, it's not worth it. I think it is if it's your thing. You know, if it's not your thing, then I like, I totally get it. Um, I, I think having a food, like an actual fuel tanker is a little more appealing to like me. Because I don't really see a lot of like these style of trailers around here. We, I mean, we see a lot of fuel ta tankers and, and I mean, that's it. You know, we'll see anything else. Yeah, but Ruta's got another one too. Yeah, so loads. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was hoping uh, we might see an, an update on that. On that, uh, I got to get up out of the floorboard, man. I feel, I feel just completely weird. I got to put some hype back into. There we go. I'm gonna stop by the store too. Let's see where is the store here. I might let me just dev console to it. I'm gonna see if the other mirrors are in there. I feel like I'm. Uh, we also might do a, a quick brake pad change. <laughs> there, is this it? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's um. Uh, let's do that. Um. Okay. <laughs> Water dump. <laughs> It'd be like that ETS uh, with the uh, with the ETS R R T or whatever the E T was the E T E T R S. Anyway, the truck racing. <laughs> with 30 suckers up let's see was that in gameplay i think it is trucks to it oh yeah look good look where they're at good gosh what the heck would i go down there my goodness let's take the suspension down a little bit actually let's take all this down i feel a little bit more less rigid rigid Man, we got a lot of just like random spam stuff coming in through here. It's just like weird, like weird stuff. You know, there for a while it was nothing but like, um, oh gosh, last time we did it was like nothing but uh, what were those what were those little bots and stuff coming in there, man? Webcam bots and stuff, man. They were, they run rampant for about a month and then they disappeared. All right, let's see. Let's find us. Let's find us a quick little load out of here into and uh, Idaho. Uh, I have a question about the SCI steering wheel. Is black and supposed to be chrome? Hey, what's up, Isaiah? How are you, man? Uh, so you're saying the steering wheel is black and it's supposed to be chrome? You're talking about in the middle, or are you talking about around the outsides? I'm about to say, come on and carry me into Idaho. Grangeville. How long is that? 200 miles? Let's do Grangeville. Yeah, it'd be perfect timing. Oh, Matt, you're right, dude. You are right. Thank you, Matt. See, that's why I live stream, man. You know, I've proven time and time again I'm just not talented enough to do this by myself. <laughs> Yeah, see that. See what I mean? And I want to get rid of these. Uh, oh, that's the other thing too. Yeah. Let's see. Where's the rise tie without? Where's the rise tie paint? I want to paint without a chop. I don't need the chop. I don't like the chop. No chops. Say no to chops, fellas. Say no to chops. I don't know if I can. So I don't think you can take the chops off once you start getting in too fancy with the uh, 
All right, here, we're just going to do the flat bow tie. Yeah. All right, we'll just do, I don't know, the factory drop's pretty cool. I like that one. All right, let's just do that. Oh, man, there's another one. Uh, no, not in this truck. They're attached to the visors. So there you go. That adds the, the more stock filling front I and mean, the front mirrors down there. Well, they're all, they're all, the chops are attached to the mirror, uh, the visors on front. So you, you choose your chops on the mirrors. I mean, sorry, not the mirrors, the, um, uh, you choose the chops with the visors. There's not like two separate ones. <laughs> Let's grab the visor and wear a cap. Let's take it off. Yeah, and actually, it looks a lot better now. And we can actually, like, see out of the windows pretty decent, you know. Oh, I should have changed our needle color. There it is. Hey, Will. Yeah, we got to, I mean, there's a few in here. We don't really, I mean, I know 34 rates probably not something you'd normally see in a 379 in America, but, you know, I was like, well, it's a, it's a, it's a beefy sounded engine. I do like it with some of the older Peterbilts, like the 351s, um, 281s. Like, I, I like a three of, I like a 3408 in those pretty slick, pretty nice. <laughs> uh, that's because it doesn't really have a jake break yeah there's not one on here matt not in the real one anyway 34 8 never came with one it's kind of like the ab92 two stroke it didn't need one so they didn't put one on it and we're going to run this red light um it didn't come with one and so they didn't put one in it. And Z's not going to have one on his 34 of it either. Oh, I shifted wrong. There it goes. There you go, Spur. Yeah, we uh, we had the cattle pot trailer, man. It was nice. Nice load. I mean, these are nice too. Uh, just, just, you know, pulling something different. I don't know why I stopped there. All right, Lamont, have a good one, buddy. <laughs> uh, in the cities, um, yeah, and I part of the engine sound stutters that you hear, Willie, um, I think, are from the the sound engine being overloaded by too many sounds going on. So it's trying to play from too many different channels. Um, that just, uh, I guess, assuming that ATS doesn't have available, and we missed our turn. Fantastic. And we hit an invisible wall. Oh, crap. I know I was sitting there. I was like, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. There's the... Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, well. If we win some, we lose some. Thank you there, honey. Appreciate the sub, man. Oh, okay. Here we go. Taking a water. What an exciting load. <laughs> uh, was it uh, N14? Yeah, Scott. Yeah, yeah, N14.
Oh, nice. Yeah, that, I, I mean, I can get behind that combo. I mean, it's a pretty nice one. It's different. Um, eh, I don't even, I'm just going to, there's no way I can turn all this around in here. I'm just, I'm just going to cheat. I know I shouldn't do that. Yeah, it's supposed to be black. Uh, I'm not sure what you're what you're getting at, Willie. It's matching the uh, it's a truck paint match. Uh, no headlight mods, they're bad company. I don't use really anything outside of what the truck has. Usually, you run into too many compatibility issues, and typically, most of the other outside mods and stuff don't work with the trucks. Most of, most of the, whoops, sorry. <laughs> Second time I've done that tonight. Uh, some of the other trucks, they don't they don't feature any of that stuff anyway. Most of that stuff's all built into these mods. You pay these kind of money for the mods and then you gotta, you know, download a headlight mod. Ain't nobody gonna be happy, you know what I mean? Yeah, Scott. I'm kind of gearing up for some race stuff too, so I decided I would go ahead and throw the old uh, feet cam up pretty nice uh, on a rally stuff you know your feet would do a lot of moving and grooving on that oh we're talking about on your game oh okay Willie sorry I, I sorry um so typically <clears throat> if you are having those kind of issues with it you've got a uh, a trailer or truck mod that's got chrome uh, got a chrome texture that's out um, if the chrome is black then you need to check your reflection scaling um, and the reflections texture level and see where it's at. Um, I mean, it should be somewhat pretty brilliant, even even on a medium high setting. It should look like you know a shiny aluminum. But if your if your steering wheel where it should be chrome is black, then you've got a conflicting chrome texture that's messing you up. Have I got to any good? No, no, nothing IRL. Um, I had a guy invite me on a run one time, and I was like, yeah, no. Um, I don't, something about hopping into a truck with a guy that I don't know, especially a trucker, and uh, being like, hey, honey, I'm going to go, do, you know, do some video content. I'll see you later. She feel like the heck you are. <laughs> she be like, nope. <laughs> I just all of a sudden found a lot of things for you to do. <laughs> Uh, I don't really have a desire to do it. The, the only way, and this is the way I am with a lot of things. Uh, if y'all knew me in IRL, I'm like this with a lot of things. If I could do it for like two days, make a run, and then I'll do something next week. Like I'm not gonna do it every day and leave home and you know be gone. If I could do it basically and and get the truck at a steal, <laughs> basically cover my cover my uh, expenses on it, then yeah, I might consider it. <laughs> It would be like my uh, my really expensive driving rig. Like, uh, don't forget your 5% coupon to track racer, boys, as I'm sitting in the Peterbilt. You know what I mean? <laughs> People be like, what the heck is this guy doing? He literally bought a Peterbilt just to create content. It's amazing. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Keep missing that sixth gear, man. Every or fifth. Missed that sucker a bunch coming up hills today. It must be really close. Yeah, the grocery getter. Yeah, we're we'll going to get some groceries. I'm sure, my neighbors would love me. Yeah, sorry, honey. We're going to have to get the 63 foot sleeper on there because it's going to have to carry groceries. Hi, right, Willie. <laughs> Look at there, Aaron. All right, let's see.
Fair enough, Scott. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't really have anything to argue with you on that one. Yeah, they actually do. They do it plenty. There is actually a, um, uh, a kind of a, I don't want to say it's a yard. It's actually a shipping company place. You can take FedEx, UPS, everything here. And they actually have a side lot that they've rented out for guys to park trucks there. And I'm telling you right now, every now and again I go by there, like at least once or twice every couple of weeks, there is some slick trucks in there. I mean, I'm talking chromed out, chrome fenders. I don't know if they're loaded or not, but oh gosh, man, they look it. They're usually um, Kenworth W9s. There's a few in there for those. And then there's a, there's also a couple of 70 or 89s. There's a pride and class in there. Uh, set 389. I've always wanted to go in there and ask the owners, like, hey, listen, I'm just going to put this up here. Uh, if you guys can vouch for any of these boys, it might be kind of cool to go on a local run and, you know, take a couple of cameras, you know, do some video footage. Maybe beg them to drive in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> YouTuber drives a Peterbilt 389. What happens next will amaze you. <laughs> well, I could start. I could start all of my clickbait. Uh, start all my clickbait stuff like that. <laughs> well, what was the call out for? I don't even remember now, Aaron. I usually that stuff doesn't usually bother me, man. I'll say I hear a retarder in there. Well, if it's anything like that right there, Spur Gaming, then we might be in trouble. <laughs> hey, what's that stop sign? I was reading chat. Sorry, Spur. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's hilarious, Spur. And that's classic, too. I could have seen a few of my high school buddies doing something like that. Hey, what's up, Ron? Good to see you there, buddy. Hope you're doing well, man. Had a good Christmas and New Year's and all that good stuff. Uh, this is Bart's food tanker. Yeah, he was one I actually happened to have in there. I, I pretty much run my... Um, Pretty much all of my combos now are essentially just their run-ins with uh, developers, so I keep all the same guys together. So Rude has got his own profile now with his own trailers and stuff that I know works with his. Um, and then uh, Dom's got some stuff over here that's um, – I've got some uh, uh, kind of a collection of trailers and some different stuff, but I don't really have a lot of trucks in a lot of these. They're pretty much try to keep profiles to developers now. There's a lot of developers that don't do things the way it probably should be. Uh, maybe that's complication, time, I mean, all of the above. But <laughs> it's hanging out in the background. <laughs> uh, what, map mod background? Do you mean the thing in the middle? It's uh, Sissel's uh, route advisor. It's on Steam Workshop. I think Idaho was a lot prettier than we ever gave it credit for. Oh, uh, yeah, it's one off of, actually, it's one off of a Euro Truck Sim 2 website. They, um, they do a lot, they have the same map for uh, ETS. Um, it's a sat nav, lamb sat, lamb sat nav map, yeah.
Oh, you don't want to get one of those, Psycho? Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to get into some hot shot trucking? Yeah! Thank you there, RB. I was waiting on someone to do that. Doggone it. Made my night, bro. I had to, man. Head started going. I couldn't stop it. <laughs> Thanks for uh, cruise control, bro. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that show. I don't do that for just anybody now. <laughs> hey, where do I get my shifters from? Oh, man, a $2.14 super chat. Thank you there. Where do we get our uh, my shifters from? So this shifter was custom made uh, by an old friend of mine. Um, and uh, you can get some of these from other places. And uh, I don't mind if one of you mods want to tag him in a message and uh, shoot him over to ATS Accessories. Uh, that's a good place to start. And also throw him a link to the A plus B software if y'all would not mind. Appreciate it. Always good to have these mods in here, man. They do a good job throwing all the links y'all request. Um, yeah, um, you know, Aaron, sometimes, I mean, it depends. Some laptops are, are cut out for it. Typically, laptops are not really cut out for ATS. It doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means that it's not going to perform that well. So depending on how advanced you want to get into it, I don't know what kind of experience you'll have with it, not to mention just the screen being smaller, um, not really having the graphics to really push where ATS is right now. You might be able to play the default game and it's very few selection of mods. Um, you know, outside of that, I'm, I'm just, I'm not completely, I'm not completely sure. Oh yeah, Carl. Yeah, it's all right, man. Yes, all my, uh, my warriors out there, Carl's wife, uh, leukemia, right? Um, so I've been talking with him back and forth on DMs and stuff. So I always tell him it's it's interesting to know kind of you know where people's uh, you know where people are from and what they you know kind of reasons why it brings them here you know any any in the all above. So uh, she's in the hospital or, or going to be back and forth in that. So y'all be uh, if y'all are praying, people pray it up, pray them up. And he's been helping me a lot. I wouldn't necessarily let people just throw that in chat. <laughs> but Carl's been throwing me a lot of good... Uh, he's been throwing me a lot of good info here towards the... Uh, uh, towards all the, the uh, specs and stuff on his, uh, on his rig and stuff. So it's been, it's been interesting to be able to at least, um, you know, rightfully kind of compare some things. So he's been, he's been hooking me up, helping me out. So Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's hard to answer without knowing the exact stuff it is. Um, you know, there are some laptops that are perfectly capable of doing that, and then there's a whole slew of them that really aren't. Ah, uh, got you, got you there, Carl. I thought it was. I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to mess that up. But <laughs> yeah, awkward gaming. Um, you know, A plus B software is a good one, uh, just because it's um, um, it is a uh, you know, it's a kind of a generic. Uh, it's not really Eaton Fuller style, um, although it, it does work pretty well i think um but it's uh it's it's solid it's solid and it's a, a much cheaper uh a much cheaper deal than than any of the rest of the stuff out there i'll say we gotta gotta be turning left here in a minute
Oh, thank you there, Z Bane. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I'll keep the same. I'll keep all of my YouTube pings and stuff. I'll still keep them going up, Gabe. Yeah, so I, I'm probably, um, you know, sometime, I, obviously tomorrow, let's see, tomorrow's Friday night, so we've got uh, the Rudy giveaway tomorrow night. Um, I think what else a Mike could do on that one. I don't know. Anyway, I'll figure up some more stuff um, that I can run on that. And then uh, probably, I want to say beginning of this week, I'll probably start doing some testing. Um, I want to do keep up with some road race stuff and also want to keep up with Daytona. Um, I mean, obviously, Daytona is pretty easy, but I also want to be able to race some races that week. Um, so we may do some kind of practice official races and then, uh, and then do the official. Uh, it's either Saturday or Sunday night. So... Um, you know, we'll probably still do uh, probably something on Saturday night if we can, uh, if I can make the time work. That's always been my, that's always been my, my cutoff. So if I can make that time work, then we can, we can do it. Hey, what's up, Dave? Hope you're doing good, man. Yeah, I think Idaho, man, you're right, Spur. I mean, Idaho was one of those states that I think we just, we were kind of spoiled with Washington, and this was just a little more wildernessy than I think any of us were really expecting, even though Idaho's, you know, I mean, it's, it's pretty, you know, pretty normal. I mean, it's got a lot of interesting terrain. Um, it has a lot more mountains than I ever thought Idaho did. But, uh, yeah, this is, it's really, it's really nice. The cities in Idaho were, man. But the the countryside, I, I would put this countryside probably as pretty as Colorado in a lot of in a lot of ways. Hey, thank you there, Aaron. Wow, RPM. <laughs> What's up, man? Goodness gracious. <laughs> it's been a while, man. Yeah, they just want us to haul potatoes. You know what? I think, Carl, one of the reasons, man, uh, I think it's one of the reasons why we all kind of got completely burned. We had to haul that stupid potatoes around Idaho, like 10 or 11 trips. It was the first year they did that, and then we were all burned out of Idaho. Well, we've been everywhere. It's time to go somewhere else now. <laughs> we're all like, peace, Idaho. We'll see you later. <laughs> you get worse now for him. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're pretty quick. Uh, no, 348's not out yet. So this is from Slav Jerry. Links are in the description if you like it or if you want to try it out for yourself and see what you think. Uh, but it is a freebie, so... We got a little pay tonight, a little free. We also featured the uh, Merit, uh, the uh, Merit Cattle Pot trailer, uh, which is actually a really good trailer. Very simple, probably easy on frames, but wow, I love it. We had a tank. Oh wait a minute, no, not this place. This is the HMS. I was like, where are we taking a thing of water here? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, I know what you mean, Spur. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. We're still burned on uh we're still burned on that stuff, man, from the very first time they uh from the time we uh, started doing TMP and people wanted to go back to the, the non-DLC maps because that's the only part they had. I was like, oh, God, I don't want to go down the Interstate 5, man. I don't know if I can do it. Ha <laughs> ha, spin with the puns. <laughs> hey, what's up, Popeye? Hey, you guys over there in the green, y'all look down. We got some new emotes for y'all. I know that sometimes it's not like the most e e glamorous thing in ATS, you know, because I don't really ever wreck. 
But uh, I got some new uh, some new emotes in there for y'all. They said they uh, um, YouTube would anim, but they don't animate them. They only animate them on Twitch. So they're just regular regular emotes. So y'all feel free to use those. And I also added those to the Discord for all our server boosters as well. Or if you have Nitro in our Discord, then you can use all the same emotes in there too. Just a little, uh, yeah, not the Peterbilt one. <laughs> At least they should be there. I saw someone use it. It's all the hype and sub hypes and uh, the get wrecked ones and yeah, yeah, the tw the 200 IQs and yeah, <laughs> yeah, there they are. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, not not anything huge, but y'all aren't really the. Uh, Champion of motors, I guess. <laughs> hey, thank you there, Kadarius. Appreciate it, man. And that you even tested out our uh even testing out our new stuff there, our new alerts. Sweet man. So I got Z's new road and uh, road noise mod, which is very, very good. The gravel sound on this thing sounds fantastic. Come on, baby. Turn long, turn long, jazzy turn. I, you know, uh, Willie, I still like the uh, big cam. I like the new update on the big cam. Um, I'm still kind of like a half, like, eh, you know, I'm still a half and half with that one. Like, uh, there's parts of that engine that just feel weird to me, but then there's other parts of it that I really, really like. So, you know, I try not to, you know, get all up and up in arms with different little pieces of different things because I realize it's just the engine the way it sounds. The uh, I still think one of the best engines that sounds is the Mac, man. There it is. Look at that little Hollywood hype. That's right, man. I like those. Glad they worked out. I'm I'm a, I'm 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 sad they're not. You know, wait, wait, come on YouTube, come on, man. Y'all are like a y'all are like a, a half trillion dollar company and y'all can't put animated emotes in the chat. Come on. Even Twitch can do this. <clears throat> oh well. Uh, all right, well, that's going to be it for me tonight. Uh, good little drives, man. Enjoyed that very much. So uh, just a couple things before you guys go. Make sure you don't forget the code, even if you're going to pick this up in the future. Make sure you grab this code here, FTG for DOMS 379. It gets you a little bit of money off. First time that really I've kind of ever had a code to, to give money off a particular truck, which I think is really cool. Um, so I'm appreciative of that. So if you guys want to buy this stuff, make sure you use it. Um, it's simple. Um, outside of that, I've got some other things coming up this week. Uh, we will be live tomorrow for the Ruta giveaway, so make sure we're going to be in the Highway Killer. So uh, Carl's sponsoring one of those to give away tomorrow. So if you want one of those, make sure you're around tomorrow night. We'll uh, do a little giveaway with that. And uh, I'll see if I can't find us some more freebie trailers to haul. I know there's a, a bunch more that I'm going to do. Um, so I am going to go ahead and go searching and find some really kind of, you know, just cool trailers that we don't always haul all the time. Um, you know, besides something that ain't a reefer, it ain't a flatbed, and it ain't a cattle trailer. So you know, if we find some, I'll find something that we can do, and uh, we'll fix us up a, uh, we'll fix us up one of his trucks, and then we'll uh, we'll do that. So uh, yeah, I know, man. Yeah, I know. Uh, he's got a few things: 389 updates, got 362 updates coming up. So it's uh, he's got he's got some he's got some space to go. I'll be interested to see what he uh, how long it winds up getting some of this out. So I'm I'm looking forward to 362 update because I know he's gonna put some lowered and uh, extended chassis on that sucker, which I'm actually kind of looking forward to that. So, um, uh, Island, is that the, are you talking about the one from, um, uh, from Franken? I did. I did do that. <laughs> Spur. <laughs> oh man. 
Uh, all right, so let's uh, let me go to some shout outs here, man, because I got a few people here, man. Um, thank you there, Ryan Slatter, for getting us started off there. You and Papa Rocks, man. Thank you there, Robert, for the super chats. Uh, some new subs in the channel, new members as well. RB26 for life, appreciate it, man. Uh, Z Bullet there with a couple of dad, do dad joke five dollar tips. Uh, Carl there's got a pre uh, sponsored giveaway here for tomorrow night, fifty dollar giveaway. Uh, here for Ruta's Highway Killer tomorrow night. So you guys make sure if y'all want that truck, we will. Uh, or for that matter, we may just sponsor any truck because they're all the same. Um, so if you guys don't have that one, um, then you can have it. If you do have it, you want something else like the 362 or something like that, uh, we can make that happen as well because they're all the same price. It doesn't matter. Um, and uh, thanks there to, I got to say, NQs. Appreciate the $2 Super Chat. And Kadirius Tyson, thank you there for your $10 Super Chat closing things down. So appreciate it as always, fellas. Uh, y'all are amazing. Thank y'all very much. Thanks, Carl. Appreciate that sponsorship. Uh, we'll be praying for you and your wife, man, um, and uh, give her uh, our best. Uh, and then we will uh, we'll be back tomorrow night, guys. All right. Um, thank you there, Lucky 13. Yeah, man. Thank y'all. Appreciate it, man. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. I was about to say, I feel like I'm forgetting something. And I'll remember it. Oh, eh, no, nah, I'll do that tomorrow night. Not a big deal. We'll do that tomorrow night. So. Yeah, train horns on the frame. Although train horns don't sound. <laughs> Might to get like a figure out how to get a mod that really nulls all of the train horns down. So yeah. Anyway. Hey XJ, what's up? Hey, if you're gonna be around, holler at me on Discord. I wanna holler at you for a quick second. Although we'll probably spend the next hour and a half, two hours talking. But yes, holler at me if you can. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna be around for a little bit. I wanna holler at you. So, anyway, you guys take it easy. I will see you here in the next live stream. Uh, we'll see you here tomorrow night, guys. All right? Y'all take it easy. We'll see you later, guys. Peace out. Let me hit this and see if it works. I hope it does. Yay, it does. We'll see you tomorrow night, guys.